to our grandmothers, mothers, aunties, sisters, cousins, nieces, and friends. We are on vlog number 141. It's entitled, Shut Up. Have you or do you have a coworker or colleague that can talk, 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 talk all day? I mean, from the start to the closing of the day. I just about done had enough of this particular lady. When you're going through things in your life where you're already being challenged, you're fighting difficulty issues, and you just want to have peace around you, and I don't know if you experienced where maybe when you get to work, you just feel like, okay, I don't have to face anything. It can be quiet if all possible. I can be quiet. No noise, no nothing, you know, but I think this coworker loved to hear herself talk. And then I think this coworker is nervous when she's not talking. Like perhaps she has anxiety, so maybe she needs to talk. And um, sometimes her conversation, she's just venting or repeating stories she's already talked about nothing but just talk 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 so one day i asked her i said um you know when you were a child did your mother ever tell you that you talk too much and she looked at me and she was like oh no she didn't and then she i asked her i said did your siblings ever tell you to to shut up and she was like oh oh I know where this is going and so um, she answered no really they kind of just told me I was a chatterbox and so I had a very large family and if I wanted to be heard I would just I'd just talk out loud whatever whatever I said um, I think perhaps maybe I don't want to be offensive to you, but sometimes I just don't want to talk and I just don't want to be in conversation the whole day. I mean, I have things that I do need to accomplish and I don't go over to your section to talk, talk the whole day. And sometimes, whoo, you can really talk. Now, I don't want to be offensive to you, but wow, I... Sometimes I want to have a break. I just want to say, shut up, but that's offensive. Well, you do things, oh, she got back. You do things that, that you know, uh, offend me, and I don't say anything. I said, please, would you say something? Therefore, I can know, because we're in this area eight hours a day. One thing I know, sometimes I don't want to hear conversation. I don't want to be talked to the whole entire four hours, if not the whole eight hours. Oh, you exaggerating. Okay. So, ladies, what I did, I said, okay, well, I got some headphones. I'm going to plug in my headphones to this music uh, app on the computer, and I can work and listen to music. And I did that. <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon me, for several, several days I did that. And I said, oh my goodness, I could get, I could have hearing loss because it's well over eight hours, just about, well, seven, if I take an hour lunch. And I said, I'm damaging my own hearing. So I said, let me go get my earplugs. I got some earplugs that are top of the line earplugs. I need to put those earplugs in my ear. And I need to set the desk phone right where I can see the light blinking. So if it rings, I won't hear it, but I guarantee you I see that light and I can answer the phone. And I text and e I emailed my colleagues and co-workers. I said, hey, you're trying to get my attention. I won't hear you. I've got my earplugs in. Let me know by email if you need me to do something or if there's somebody that needs to see me because I won't hear my phone ringing. And they're like, okay, all right, all right, we get the hint. Oh my 
word. I had to text, I emailed everybody except for this particular Miss Chatterbox. Okay. So uh, the day came and uh, I said, oh, I'm loving these earplugs. And do you know, for some reason, I started hearing her through the earplugs. I wanted to say out loud, shut up, but I could not. And I just figured it out. I said, you know, she got in here about nine o'clock. She talked through her coffee. Now it's lunchtime, she's still talking. And wow, in about four hours, we'll be leaving for home. And I bet she gonna still be talking about nothing, just to talk. And you know, I said, I knew when I got to this unit, when I transferred to this unit, and she, I, I, she would talk all the time. I should have nailed it in the butt then. I should have told her I don't do all that talking. I'm a very quiet person. <coughs> Excuse me. I come here to work. Maybe I have conversation every once in a while. But I do not. I don't carry on with all that kind of talking. That's just not my personality. I should have nailed it in the butt then, but I did not. That's my fault. I should have. But here we go. So uh, I've known this person for years and years and years. and Well, yeah. Okay, so one day I was looking at a documentary on television and this young lady had went to country, every country, every city, state, you have it for a hearing implant. One is better than the other, this and this and this, but somehow or another, she just couldn't hear. For some reason, something was missing, and she couldn't hear. And the implants did not work. They actually got infected, and all this went on. And they said it caused her to lose a whole lot of the inner ear and all of that. And she said, wow, if I could just hear conversations instead of sign language, if I could hear music, if I could hear this and this and this. And then within me, oh, did I feel stabbed. I said, I get to drive over to the ocean. Something this lady wants to hear is the sound of waves. I get to hear the sounds of the waves. I get to hear seagulls. In fact, I heard the first cries and 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 the first conversations of my grandbabies how in the world would i feel if i couldn't hear those important things if i couldn't hear a sermon if i couldn't hear a choir sing wow she longs to hear but this young lady knows that she would never be able to hear ears but cannot hear and deep down inside me, I said, you know, I'm repentful because here I am able to hear and I'm complaining about this co-worker being a chatterbox. She's not in my life 24 hours a day, just the days that she comes to work. And I can blot it out by hearing music and all of that, but listen, I'm not deaf. I have the gift of hearing. I'm fortunate that I'm able to talk to my family and my friends and I can hear the conversation back or their replies. So I said, I'm not going to complain about Miss Chatterbox anymore. How dare I complain? Besides, in less than a year, I'll be retired. I might miss Miss Chatterbox. So you know what? I got a new attitude. Some days I put the earplugs in, some days I didn't. But you know what, ladies? I'm very grateful for the gift of hearing. Okay. The end of the vlog, ladies. I'm praying for you, and I'll talk to you in a couple of more days. Bye-bye.